Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. Can I be honest with you guys? I have, believe it or not, never had an advent calendar. That's right, not even a chocolate one. So, I mean, go big or go home. If you're gonna do an advent calendar for the first time, then get a ridiculous like fucking P. Louise one, you know? Um, so I wanted to do a video unboxing this with you guys. So I haven't currently opened it. I haven't looked at any videos to see what the story is and you know what's in it. So if you want to see a first impressions and see what I think of this, then this is the video for you. Do please keep on watching. I mean, first off, it is huge. Look at this. Like it, it's massive. Now the child in me is loving the packaging. There's little lights here. You can't tell that well because I have a million lights going on in this room. But sweet Jesus, that is so so cute. This bit kind of came separately. You had to attach it. I probably should have attached it slightly differently or a little bit more forward, that's on me. But you know what, so cute. Will I keep this packaging? Yes, yes I will. I think it's super cute. But when you open it up, look at that, look at the drawers. There's like approximately five million drawers. Yeah, so we're gonna open these together. So I'm gonna go through box by box to see what the story is on this small, small desk, so. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I reckon I should probably preface this by kind of saying I have mixed feelings on P. Louise. I've gotten some products before that I've really loved and then some others that I'm like, oh my God, what fresh hell is this? But I figured, you know, um, that there would probably at least be something from here that I might enjoy. Uh, look, stupid brain took over. Let's get into it. This is the first one. This is marked as number one. Ooh, well it takes everything else down, doesn't it? Okay, am I meant to open it like this? Okay, I'll be putting the boxes back in. Let's see. So on day number one, it's a kiss and make up kit. Give your lips the luxury they deserve. So it's a lip kit. Oh, nice, okay. So what, there's like a lip liner and a lipstick. Okay, okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I've just like unpackaged it there. Uh, when you look at the top, you have, I'm assuming your liner and then your lipstick. So they don't look like they're matching based on that, but um, yeah, this is them. So we have our bullet lipstick then in the shade barely there. Oh, okay. It's a very neutral lipstick, gotta say. Don't hate that, that's looking quite nice. Reminds me a little bit of the Vive lipstick in the shade Vive. It's kind of given me similar tones. And then there's a liner in quite um it appears to be a dark shade. Let's let's have a little look see. Oh okay, that's quite uh like a brown. Okay, oh gotta say for this first one, 10 out of 10. Quite happy with that. Okay, okay, P. Louise, I see you. I see what you're doing over here and I don't hate it. Okay, so I now have drawer number two. I know I'm terrible. I'm not even doing advent calendars right considering this is my first one. I should be doing it once every day, but like who has the patience for that? Proper people. So this is a Rise and Shine Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Start your day with a glow. Okay, I mean, that's, that's not a bad thing. I mean, I love me a little bit of skincare and I mean, Hyaluronic acid, would I necessarily run out and buy this myself? Not really. Will I get decent use out of it? Yeah, probably would. So when you look at it then, it's 30 mils or 1.05 fluid ounces. So actually not bad in terms of what you're getting there. So this is what it looks like. I gotta say, I like that the packaging is pretty relaxed because like P. Louise generally does like very OTT packaging and for skincare I like something a bit more dialed back. We have our little dropper here which I enjoy. It's kind of giving me like old school for Sally vibes. Not against it. So we're now on to box number three. We've gotten like a mix so far already by day three of some makeup and some skincare so I'm not sure what we'll have in this one. Pretty, pretty happy so far with how it's all going out. And I know they have, I think, a budget one as well. Is this a passive aggressive message, P. Louise? <laughs> Give it a rest, eye cream. Look, I enjoy an eye cream. I'm currently going through my Malin Goetz one, which, spectacular, works really, really well for me. Um, 
Yeah, it says here like helps to repair signs of damage and brightens the under eye, increases smoothness and tightens skin, rehydrates and repairs the skin's natural barrier. And of course they give, you know, their general directions for use in case you're not sure how to do it. It's 35 grams, uh, 1.25 uh, ounces. Okay, again, really nice kind of small packaging, not very OTT. I like this, this is nice. Now I haven't tried any of her skincare so far. Not against it. I'd be interested to see exactly what the active ingredients are in this. When you look at it, obviously the first thing is like aqua, propanediol, uh, dipropylene, glycol. Look, I'll actually take a picture of this and put it in front of you guys so you can pause and have a little read of it. Those of you who understand skincare better than me would have a better idea. Day number four now, and we've got much more slim packaging. What could be inside there? The resolution to all of my problems. Who knows? Okay, little packaging here. Fall in line. Double ended liner. Okay, I do love an eyeliner. I gotta say. Hold on. It says burst, burst Y bubble, and then blow your mind. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks like we have one like darker end and then one lighter end. So let's have a little look. Is it liquid? Yes, it is liquid. Okay, so we've the pale pink here. Okay, oh, that is nice. Shut up. It's actually kind of nice. I like that. And then the deeper one, which is the burst Y bubble or bursty bubble but it looks like there's a space between the burst and Y. This is it here. I like that, I like the, the difference across, I don't know how I bruise myself. Um, I'm constantly bumping into things. I like this, this is, okay. This must be like a newer product of theirs, I don't remember seeing this. Okay, I'm liking so far that it's pretty much half and half skincare and makeup. I have to say I was kind of remiss because I should have told you to get a cup of tea or like a snack or something because this seems to be taking some time. We're on to number five here and I will say um, it looks like it was damaged a little bit. Like nothing major, like, but obviously it must be so hard putting all of these things together because like this is like a proper mishmash. There's like a specific rhyme and reason and order to all of this. So like fair play like whoever the little elves are in King Louis putting all this together, well done. Okay, what do we have here? The exciting times. Delve into a world of creamy goodness. Eggnog scented, bubble bath. I actually have a bath and I keep talking about needing, well not needing, <laughs> I mean I am gross. <laughs> but I am actually kind of excited. <laughs> oh God, I hate myself. I was primed to say that. But that's actually kind of interesting. I don't, what? Like, is it eggnog scented? Eggnog scented. What does an eggnog smell like? Sorry, I'm Irish, so we don't do eggnog. So yeah, we don't have eggnog here in Ireland. It's not really a thing. Oh, that's kind of cute. It reminds me a bit of, you know, when you were a kid and you get like that little dolly stuff, you know, because gendering is fun. You get like the dolly playset and this kind of looks like, you know, how you get like the fabric conditioner play toys. Okay. Oh, actually, that smells nice. Cause like I had, I, <laughs> don't hate me, but I was like eggs. Why would you want to smell like eggs? But obviously the nog is the <laughs> core ingredient in making eggnog smell nice. I will have to look up what exactly eggnog is. I know it's an alcoholic thing, but that is nice actually. Gotta say, I kind of wish they had a little bit more than that. Or, you know, it's a very small one, but if I like that, I'll end up getting more of it. That's cute, really like this. We're on to number six now, and it's again another little slim package, so maybe some more liners or something. There's potential in here. Oh, there's two things. Shut up, not one thing, but two things. Okay, okay, I see you. So there's the Hala Mini, which is what? What is that meant to be? Liquid high shine gloss, okay. And then there's the lip drip, uh, irresistible high shine. So I assume is that like a lip oil? Cause I have one of their lip oils already and I actually do like it. It's very clunky packaging, but okay. Oh, it says here that it's a lip gloss. So there's like a little one and like a bigger one. Okay, shut up. Are these the same color? 
I mean, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna open the bigger one now. Okay, so this is the bigger one. It looks like it's kind of pinky in tone. Let's, let's be gross and put her onto my lips. I mean, I'm very aware that I've just put lip gloss on and I have no makeup on. Hard to believe when I look this fucking flawless. This is nice. It's not like super, super pigmented. I reckon if you had like a nice liner on underneath, it'd look nice. And then you have the little mini. So let's have a gawk. Is that the same shade? Oh, okay. Okay, so that's a different shade. That's like a much more kind of beige tone really because like one is pink and then the other one is beige okay so I removed the kind of pinky gloss and I want to try this one they haven't given a name to it it just says Hala so I assume it's the name of it is Hala okay no smell to it so that's nice I actually I think I prefer this one to the bigger one but you know what I like that they've kind of given two options there this is really nice Jesus, how did I not know that advent, well I knew that advent calendars were a thing, but why have I never gotten one before? <sighs> this is sad, but it is, has at least been rectified. I'm gonna say I'm fucking loving this so far. This is actually full on giving me cheer. It's giving me joy. Amazing. How are we less than a third of the way through? That is nuts. This is number seven and it looks like we have, well, number seven as in the seventh one on this, not that it's suddenly shifted to a number seven advent calendar. I wonder what that would be like. Anyways, we have, it looks like possibly skincare in here. Yes, P. Louise Skin Good Night and Glisten Moisturizer. It's 60 grams, so that's looking pretty good. Um, what is it in terms of ingredients? Aqua glycerin, yeah, fair enough. Cyclopentisiloxane, Pripoline glycol. Again, I'll take a little picture of this and uh, put it up onto the screen so you guys can see what the story is with that one. Honestly, at this point, I'm gonna be heading into Christmas moisturized and glossy and smelling like eggnog and um, I'm not against it. This how the other half lives. Again, nice packaging. Um, it's pretty relaxed. Again, no big fluffy, massive things. I like this. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, happy with this one. We're on to number eight, and this is looking like it's a slightly bigger package. Okay, I know what this is, because I've gotten this before in one of their budget boxes. Uh, oh, okay, it's your bad bitch energy. So this, I think, usually comes with like a lip balm and a lip oil, and this time it's toasted marshmallow. I gotta say, I've been using the one that I got in the budget box. It was a pumpkin flavored one, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. I don't love their packaging on this. I think it's unnecessary. Um, you know, the planet is dying. We don't need all of this. But the products themselves, actually pretty darn nice. I also have to say that as I sat down to film, I totally forgot to bring scissors with me, which would have made sense when I'm peeling back so many plastic things. So instead, I have like summoned my inner MacGyver. I've been using a little hair grip because, you know, where there's a will, there is a way. So as you can see, they could have had, like, I mean, there's packaging within packaging. A little bit unnecessary. We have the Stay Shining, which if I remember correctly, uh, that's the lip oil. So actually, this is very nice. I use this quite a bit. It has this sort of a packaging. I'm gonna have a little smell. I'm a bit worried that toasted marshmallow might be a bit too sweet for me. Um, but I don't love sweet smells. Actually, that's fine. It's given me like s'mores and I am I am not against it. And then the other bit is like this like lip balm. And essentially, if it's the same as what I got in the budget box, yes it is, you have your little clip-on thing here so that you're summoning your inner naughties and just, you know, popping that on. I've been using this quite a bit actually, the pumpkin one. I've been using this, um, well not this exact one, the pumpkin one a lot. I take it out during class, etc. when I'm lecturing. I've actually had quite a few students asking me what it was, so 
yeah, it's the P. Louise one, and you can obviously buy this individually as well. Yeah, do you know what? This is bloody good so far. Like, there's been nothing that I'm like, oh, I'm not going to use this, or I'm not going to enjoy this. We are on to number nine. It's either number nine or it's an upside down six. You can never really tell. To be fair, I'm looking at it based on the way that it was packaged. And I think I feel some bubble wrap. So is there something delicate in here? Maybe it's a blush. Oh my God, I'd love it if it was like a pressed blush or something along those lines. Okay, let's see. The heart is, home is where the heart is. Oh, shut up. Look at that, that's really fucking cute. I don't know what it is yet, but like that is cute in terms of the packaging. As long as we have love, we have everything. Okay, fair enough. Um, the start of each, it's a pressed pigment palette, shut up. Okay, what's in here? Pressed pigment palette, palette? A palette that's this small? I mean, to be fair, do I ever use all of my palettes? No. Oh God, though, that's so cute. That's really cute. Oh fuck, that's cute. Okay, I like this. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. That is adorable. Do I love quads? No, but would I end up using this? Yes. Woo, goodbye, plastic adders. Okay, I'm happy with this. And um, because it's in one of the smaller ones, I mean, let's let's see what it's swatching like. Okay, this is what it looks like. We're gonna swatch on my hand. Okay, they're not bad. I mean, bearing in mind my hand is dry AF because I'm disgusting. Would I need another palette to go in with? Yes, but I already have their purple stack mups. So like that could be a nice little augmentative, but do you know what? That's actually just really cute. Shit, I like that. That's that's adorable. We have number 10 now and uh, it was tightly packed in there. It was touch and go for a minute as to whether I was going to get that one out. Okay, okay, they've got another one of their lip drips. Not against that. This time it's cookie crumble. Yeah, look, I've already shown you guys what the other two were like. Again, I'm not against that. I like the lip conditioner. I like the lip oil. That's actually pretty great. I'm pretty happy with that. If it had been another ginger, not a ginger, like another like pumpkin one that I gotten in the budget box, I would have probably been a smidgen salty, but not even really that salty. But yeah, you guys know what this looks like. It has, it's the same as what I just showed you. So this isn't bad at all. I mean, this could get you through most of the year. So fuck it, yeah, this is nice. So I have number 11 here and I'm saying, another little bit of um like plastic wrap like the bubble wrap so i'm like oh my god is it gonna be more pigment okay hold on that's cute looking skin bling highlighter powder okay shut up this is reminding me a little bit of the dior packaging on their highlighters which are disgustingly expensive like you know makes your heart hurt sort of expensive Shit, this is tightly packaged. Ugh, I got it in the end. So it's gold mine apparently. And uh, this is what it looks like on the outside. Like I said, very reminiscent of that Dior packaging because you've kind of the kind of sewn in edges. I think that's actually looking quite nice because sometimes P. Louise kind of skirts that line between like cute, luxy to looks a bit trashy mm, just saying it so what does this uh, now I am a bit nervous because I am a pale bitch so this may not suit me um oh fuck that was destroyed it's completely unusable oh oh that sucks it wasn't gonna fit me anyways because it was too dark but Oh, that's such a pity. I'm gonna have to contact them about that, but yeah. Still, out of like what, 11 so far, that's the only one that has gone a bit. Eesh. Can I be honest with you guys? My heart is still sore from the fact that that highlighter is totally unusable. <laughs> I know, first world problems, I know. Took a picture and I'll see if they'll hopefully send me one. We'll see. So this is number 12. We'll see what's in here. Um, 
Okay, oh, there's two things in here. Mm, my, 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 you're spoiling me. So we have the P. Louise paints. It's a cosmetic paint and it's the, it just says switch it up. Is there a particular shade? Yeah, switch it up is the shade. So let's have a little gawk at that one. What does that look like? Okay, so I've taken the seal off. Let's have a little look as to what that one looks like. Okay, I mean, it's not really a shade I would personally go for. It's very dark um, and very neutral. But could you use that as a lipstick? You probably could actually. If I could, that would be a really nice lipstick. Let's see. We will make it work because I wouldn't use this as like anything other than a lipstick but I'm assuming it's okay to do that with. If not, this is how I die. That's super cute but it isn't the only thing. There's a loose pigment in here as well. Okay, okay B, I I see you. I'm kind of liking that they seem to have kind of gone for more chilled out packaging with the exception of those bloody lip drips. Seriously love, go down a little bit on that. You don't need all of that. Let's see. Oh, cute little heart chip packaging. Cause you know, eh. Oh, why is it so hard to get out? Um, okay, so this is what it looks like. Really actually quite cute. Don't heed my nails. Uh, this is the Let Your Heart Shine pigment. Let's see. I'll probably open this and we'll spread absolutely everywhere. Oh, the fear is real at this point. Oh no, I just had to twist it because I was trying to pull it because I'm an idiot. So you twist it and what? Okay, so it has the little seal on it. Bear with me. Let's see. Because I, I have the fear now, if I'm 100% honest. Let's see. <laughs> Shut up, that's cute. Okay. Okay. Shut up. Okay, I like this. See this? That's the colour. Um, it's not showing up amazingly on the camera, but I'm gonna shove it on top of that cosmetic. Oh, it looks really cute once you put it on top there. That's cute. Okay. I put a little bit of it on top of that like cosmetic paint and you can see a bit of the shift. Now I'm gonna do it without any of that so you can see. And it has like this purple to green shift. Okay, that's cute. I'm super, super happy with that. 10 out of 10 for this bit. Mwah. Well done. We're on to number 13 now. We have another quite skinny little package, but I mean, let us not judge. So we have, oh, sorry, the sound of that was a bit gross. We have uh, another, it looks like lip gloss here. Um, yeah, it's a lip gloss. So it's one of their lip drip and it's called Posh Spice. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is darker in color than the previous ones. I like a dark gloss, gotta say it. Let's give this one a little bit of a go. Okay, I am a little bit obsessed with this color. That's super cute, posh spice. I could, to be fair, this is very like Victoria Beckham, late 90s. Okay, this is good, I like this. We're heading somewhere positive. We're on to day number 14 now, and uh, it looks like we might have like a paint inside, like a pigment paint. Oh, okay. So we have another, like a lip gloss formula, a thick formula lip gloss, and it's in the shade I'm Extra. My God, my lips are gonna be tired by the end of this. Maybe that's why they gave me like so many like lip drips. Let's have a little look at this one. Okay, that is a very, very thick formula. It's not really the sort of formula I love in a lip gloss. Like it's very, um, very sticky. It might dry down a little bit more, which would be weird for a lip gloss, but uh, I don't like the texture or the feel of this one. The color on it is pretty good. I wouldn't be able to wear this for long periods of time. This would be grand for like filming a quick look, but for me, this wouldn't really be it. I still have that fucking pigment all over me. Um, I know this is super subjective. It totally depends upon the person. Some people are gonna love this sort of a formula, but for me, I don't like anything that has like a massive stickiness to it. Like I feel like this could like just grab my hair and make it live on my lips for the rest of my life. And that is just 
that's not how I like to live my life. So for this one, not really, not for me. I'll make use of it because I've obviously tried it. I've opened it, it is what it is, but I wouldn't have gone out and picked this one up. Number 15 now, hard to believe. We've only another 10 after this to go. Sweet Jesus, I feel like I've spent my whole life doing this. Hold on, okay, powder blush duo, okay. <gasps> Shut up, it looks like there's an orange in there. There's first crush and there's sweet on you. If those are actually true to those colours, I like wearing those sort of colours. They suit me, she said vainly, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of here for that. And um, they, it looks like they have another like twisty top sort of thing. There's a lot of plastic involved in a lot of these things, which to be fair, it's very difficult to do these things without. But, okay, okay, hold on. Okay, so the front half is this. Like you have to swish it around like that. And then is it, is it that there's a, a oh, shut up, there's a, <laughs> there's another part then, which is this bit. That is nuts. Okay, that is like, you can't really tell on camera, but it is like a little bit peachy in colour. Let's have a little swatch so we can see what the story is. Uh, so I'll grab that one. And this is kind of giving me like old school po Polly Pocket vibes. You know, and I gotta say, as a child of the 90s, kind of here for it. Okay, they are nice. They are nice. And I do like her blushes because I have a few, like maybe three or four, you know, that build your own blush set. This is good. Okay, this is nice. Very, very happy with that. This is our 16th one. I know what a time we have spent together at this stage. Oh, shut up, there's two things in here. I was like, oh, I see one thing. No, there's two things. So they're both wet and set. Um, so yeah, I mean, those are known to be pretty good. There's the olive upset, shut up. Is that actually an olive color? If it's an olive color, I will shit myself. Figuratively, not literally. So th there is olive obsession and garden girl. If these are both greens, then all best are off because I am very excited about that. Oh, that is nice. Like it is like an olivey, like yellowy bit. Oh, hold on, let's see. Very watery, probably should have shaken it. That's on me. Sorry, but look, look at that. Shut up. <laughs> I'm very, very fucking happy about this. That is nice. Again, I probably should have shaken that. That's my own fault. Uh, simply apply straight from the application tip and then buff out with your favorite floofy brush. Okay, no, I think it is actually meant to be wet. Well, I can make that work. I can make that work, that's fine. And then Garden Girl is green. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Louise, we haven't always gotten on. Sometimes I've genuinely hated your stuff. <laughs> but right now, it is green. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God, it's green and the two of these together, shut up. You could buff them into each other. Yes, yes. Okay, this might be one of my preferred things. Like I can't, it's early. Early in the day, it's what, number 16? This is brilliant. Only like one fail and that was, no two fails. One was down to packaging and that falling apart and the other one was like, I just didn't like that lip gloss, but that's subjective. We're on 16 days now and I pretty much enjoyed or liked all of it. Well done, P. Louise. Well done. Didn't think you had it in you. Day 17 now and ooh. What have we got here? It says apricot smoothie. Uh, a flirty flush of colour. It's a liquid blush. I love a liquid blush. Don't love this packaging. I have one or maybe three of her liquid blushes so far. I quite like them. So, mm, this looks like my kind of a shade. Will you come out? Thank you. <gasps> if it's that shade, which it will be, then hells yes. I'm happy with this. Uh, so it has like your little 
kind of floofy applicator, which I don't always love. Okay, so I have the blush here and um, basically you kind of have to put it out through here, like this. It doesn't give you a massive amount initially, but it's, I mean, it's pretty nice. I personally wish they didn't have this fluffy thing, but that's that's a me issue. That is not a P. Louise issue. Um, I find it personally a little bit surprising that they have that when they, you know, do the makeup artistry thing because that's kind of like a sanitation issue because I don't really know how a pro MUA would manage to use that and keep it sanitized. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I've thought about that too far. But for me, for personal use, yes, I enjoy this. And most people are buying these advent calendars for personal use. So that is fine. Happy with that. Day 18 now, and we have a very skinny little parcel waiting for me. Um, I'm wondering if it might be like some lip pencils, maybe? Oh, okay. So there's actually three things in here. Whew. I think I was right. Uh, liner up your favorites, babe. Um, so it does, so there's privacy, there's first grade, and there's faithful, and they are indeed lip pencils. Okay, I called it, and I, I feel like maybe I'm like super clever now. Is that, is that how this works? So I'm going to try this one first. It's, which one is it? Privacy. Okay, so it's quite a dark one. I like a dark lip liner. Hmm. Okay, let's see. That's nice. It's kind of a red toned brown. Not against it. Quite happy with that one. Then I have a first grade here. I'm wondering how much of this kind of is similar to what came out in that like wedding budget boxy thing that they did. Probably some correlation or some crossover there. Um, then, yeah, this is first grade. Again, another brown toned one. Yeah, this is more orangey and this is more pink toned here. So, yeah, not massive crossover on that. Quite happy. And then the third one, because, like, I mean, you can't have too many lip liners. That's what she said. That's toxic. Toxic thinking, Teresa. This is a faithful. So yeah, I think this might have been part of their wedding collection thing. So this is faithful. And I do think it's probably a little bit too close to the previous one. Like once you see it on the lips, there's not going to be much of a difference. That being said, will I use it? <laughs> yes, I will. And the formula is actually quite nice. Like I'm not unhappy with that. This is a pretty nice one. 19 now so we're on the home stretch this is quite a big parcel so we'll see what's in here okay what is this so it's oh a bath bomb orange chocolate okay i'm not gonna open this now um because you know if i do it, it could crumble and kind of go everywhere but um yeah I, I mean it's the same sort of design as like the lip oil thing that they have that's not bad that's quite nice this is the second biggest box and it's number 20. It does sound like it's mostly empty though, so. What's in here? Oh, okay, so it's like a little, a little cup and a straw. It has the little eggnoggy bits on it. Okay. I mean, I personally don't drink through straws. But that's a me thing. I'm assuming, can I put like hot beverages in there? Can I? Or is it just all cold drinks? Because I'm a massive tea drinker. This is okay. This is, I mean, I would I have bought this? No, <laughs> not in a month of Sundays. I'll use it maybe, or I might, you know, see if anyone wants it. But um, it's fine. Uh, it does say cold nights, warm hearts. I am hoping and assuming that this is indeed, you know, for hot drinks. It would be weird if not. They have no info to say, uh, and I think they kind of should do that. Like, it's plastic, so it does make me worried as to whether or not, like, if I put a hot beverage in there, is it going to fall apart? Here for the tea. It's fine. Fine. 
not as good as the rest of the items, but everything else was pretty good. I will say though, such a like disappointment, like big, big, big box. Bit of a disappointment, but sure look. First world problem. 21 now, and we have a slightly smaller package, but it's not about the size. Uh, this time it says commit to luxurious lips. It's a matte lipstick in the shade Always Yours. Okay, I like it seems to be somewhat sleek packaging because sometimes, you know, some brands do gaudy packaging. I don't know why I'm talking that way. Who knows, it's that time of the evening. This is looking nice, pretty simplistic packaging and quite a pinky toned, peachy toned neutral. Yeah, I mean, that looks nice. I'm quite happy with that. Number 22 now, and I'm seeing that little peak of um, like bubble wrap. And I'm wondering if it's an eyeshadow palette because I know we had the little quad, but I mean, P. Louise is known for their eyeshadow palettes. And I'm hoping they might have one that is like an advent calendar exclusive. Oh my God, I wasn't incorrect. Uh, lady in charge. I think this is, oh God, there's a lot of uh, like pregnancy stuff in there. So trigger warning if that's like a bit upsetting to you. I don't love that. So I think, was that? I think this is uh, linked to their thing from the wedding collection-y thing. And I'm 99.9% .9 certain I have this already from their budget box. So um, if that's the case, it's a bit shit because I already have it. So I think they need to kind of be aware that if somebody's getting the advent calendar, they could have uh, some stuff from budget boxes already. Uh, if that's the case, if it is a, a double over, I will let you know. It'll be down uh, in the description or it'll be down under here in the tiles. Um, it's not really my kind of a color story. I wouldn't personally go for it. Yeah, it is. It's part of it because it says mother of the bride because I got the wedding collection-y thingy uh, as part of their September budget box. I thought it was really weird because it was coming up to my own wedding. So yes, I'll be getting rid of this one. It's unnecessary for me because I already have this one. So for me, I think that's a little bit of a disappointment, which is kind of sad because we're getting to the end and I want to be left with nice feelings. But it's all first world problems, Teresa. First world problems. 23 now and this is, Feeling very light and there's no sound coming from inside. Oh, it's lashes. Okay, they're huge. Uh, new heights. I don't think I can get away with them with my glasses, unfortunately. I'll give them a try. God loves the trier, but you can see I have my glasses very close to my eyes. So that may not be a go for me. But yeah, I mean, it's nice that they have some lashes in there. And I quite like the style. I think they look quite pretty. But yeah, a bit of a disappointment. But that's a, I was gonna say that's my nickname. <laughs> it's, all, it's all very consistent. So this is the penultimate one. And I did actually check. I do have the lady in charge, uh, which was the last eyeshadow palette that we were looking at, which had come in a budget box. So I kind of think they should be aware that there's a little bit of crossover. So now I have an extra palette. So I might maybe do a giveaway on that if anyone is interested. Um, oh, another blush. So this time it is Gentle Ginger. So you know the drill with how this one uh, swatches. It has the little, um, what you call it, weird poofy bit. But let's See, it's again kind of orangey toned. Um, probably not much of a difference in the sense of how that's going to look on the skin. I'm kind of here for that one. I'm very, very happy with that. I won't bother swatching that, uh, but you know, you get a general idea. Yeah, okay, that's, we're, we're getting back to the, to the good stuff, but we do only have one more left. And I'm really hoping it's a really nice eyeshadow palette because so far I only have one that I can use. I know. So difficult, so hard, feel bad for me. <laughs> JK, I think I will give away the lady in charge or I might use it as a gift. I will figure that shit out. I'll, I'll do a giveaway, it makes the most sense. Let's give back, let's be nice.
So this is our biggest box. It's day 25, so the very, very last one. Let's hope that this is just saving things again. Hopefully a nice eyeshadow palette. Okay. I whacked myself in the face. I'm an idiot. Timeless treasures. Please have colour in you. Please have colour in you. I don't know how I feel about the fact that like some things were tumbling behind me. Um, okay, again, massive packaging that you usually see with P. Louise. And okay, this isn't bad. Like it is neutral, uh, but it's sort of like grungy tones and a little bit of pink. It's kind of giving me um, Urban Decay, uh, Naked Reloaded, Slash, was it Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam? I don't know if I'd actually get any use out of that. I do love that there's like a little dog here. That's cute. Um, yeah, I've had better. Like it's not amazing. Wouldn't be the one that I would have chosen, but I think she was playing it safe. Um, in terms of what I think of the like advent calendar overall, actually pretty decent. If you haven't gotten any of the budget boxes, maybe that's the one to kind of like save up for. Question is, would I get this again next year? I don't think I would. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with my budget boxes. This is a one and done type of thing. I did enjoy quite a few of the things that I got, but I'm not going to be running out and getting another one next year. But um, I think I will do a little giveaway. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, so I'm going to give away this Lady in Charge palette if you guys are interested. And um, yes, I have got my grubby paws now. I'm not swatching it. You guys saw I did not. Uh, this, my friends, is what it looks like. It's a pinky toned palette flick if you haven't gotten this. I suspect you did. Um, might be one for you. Um, so if you want to potentially win this, do please like, comment and subscribe down below. I will be checking to see if you are subscribed to me. Give me your Instagram handle or some way to contact you and um, I will let you know. This is open internationally because fuck it, why not? Tis the season and all of that jazz. But yeah, that's it. That is the end of this video. It was a, an okay advent calendar. There were definitely some hits, definitely some misses. But other than that, not the worst. Let me know what you guys think. Did you get an advent calendar? Did you get this one? Did you get another one? I am a nosy bitch. But that's it. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you can see more whatever the fuck it is that I'm doing over here. Who knows at this point. And do please share because sharing is caring. Except of course for STDs. You just gotta wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that's it. That's the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.